Hi, uh, my name is Leah Richardson, and this is my e media audit reflection. Um, I will include the copy of like my hour t hour notes, timestamps, and stuff alongside this video. But these are just my general reflections. Um, so one thing, like just in terms of pure data, things that I noticed. So I watched some more news, which is a channel that is very leftist, uh, <laughs> very leftist comedic news. Like they are again, anti Joe Biden and, um, like they, one of like the running gags is like, if you believe money is real. <laughs> so, I mean, they are that it's exaggerated for comedic effect, but they are just very pro socialist, uh, and pro, uh, I guess, more far leftist change um i watched those mostly in the car because they're like a more audio formatted news show um and then <laughs> this might not be accurate to my normal viewing habits and i'm gonna get into it in a second but almost all of the videos i watched were because oh backing backtracking on that um, I didn't watch any shows, read any books, or watch any movies, um, and, and this is par for the course that I pretty much only watch YouTube videos as, like, my entertainment outside of just social media, um, that's kind of my preferred thing to look at. I'm more likely to watch a video commentary on a movie than watch the movie itself, uh, and there's probably something about me to be said there from that. But, uh, so, but anyway, the YouTube videos that I watched mostly, besides the summer news, were John Oliver. <laughs> um, and that was, that's not like my usual exclusively watching John Oliver, which is what it ends up looking like. Um, the reason for that is actually because of, uh, I don't like when the YouTube algorithm, like, if I watch one John Oliver video, the YouTube algorithm will just kind of latch onto that. And so I usually will open it in an incognito tab. And then I kind of want to use, watch all the things in the incognito tab first, because of, uh, just because if my computer shuts down, which it does frequently, then I'll lose my incognito tabs. And the way I tend to watch content is by uh, opening, rather than like clicking on the next video in the sidebar, I'll open like multiple tabs every time I see a video I like. My current like main YouTube video holder window uh, probably has 86 tabs in it of future videos. Um, it's ridiculous. But uh, so, so anyway, I just admit that there's a bit of a John Oliver rabbit hole, so it's probably not conclusive to my average watching habits as much. Um, but the other things uh, besides that are I watched a commentary video on uh, black male comedians in drag and kind of like what that means for like it, that that <laughs> it's place within history and it's commentary on black fem black femininity, etc. Uh, by another leftist YouTuber. <laughs> um, and then. I watched uh, uh, a another leftist YouTuber uh, roasting landlords on TikTok. So th that's another thing that's probably like slightly, uh, that is pretty common. And we did see that later, which is uh, I watch people talk about other content. So like either talking about TikToks or other people's YouTube videos. I, I really like the commentary genre and that's pretty much most of where I spend my time. Um, and that includes like names like Nick, Nick DiRamio, Jarvis Johnson, uh, Noah Sampson, etc. Uh, and then also trending, I listen to a lot of leftist commentators. Um, so on that note, sorry, there was a brief technical issue. Um, but I, also, in terms of media, I spend a lot of time, like, doing something else while I watch these YouTube videos. They're usually, like, background noise while I am on my phone or doing something else, and I thought that was interesting. 
to just kind of acknowledge that I'm almost always doing two things if I have free time, but I'll also like pause the video so I'll have it on as an option but then just like pause to focus in on like just my game or whatever but I always have it there so that's just something I thought was interesting uh and then there's a lot of just on a final note there's a lot of stuff that I couldn't really account for in this audit slash experience experiment so like I didn't calculate every ad that I see which are I feel like are technically pieces of media and I didn't account for probably, like, uh, every time, all, like, the things I'm looking at while I'm just checking my phone on Instagram. So that would be something I think would be interesting to look into further going forwards. And I think would just be, if I were going to continue the study for a more long term, I think I would notice more trends that were, and that would help with the accuracy of just the content I look at. But... Overall, I think it's interesting. Um, yeah, leftist commentators is pretty much all I watch. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun project, and I'd be interested to see it done on a bigger scale. Thank you, and have a great day.